complaining of urethral orifice present on underside of penis since birth with narrow urinary stream. Patient's mother complaining of poor stream of urine with spilling of urinary stream with soiling of inner thighs when the child micturates through the opening on the under surface of penis. There is no history of acute urinary retention or recurrent urinary infections. Uh, in past history, no history of any surgical intervention. Birth history, normal vaginal delivery. Family history, no other family member has suffering from same type of illness. On now physical examinations, there is a meatus on the distal sept of penis with metal stenosis. Pupus is hooded. There is dorsal curvature, that is dorsal cardi, and scrotum with bilateral testes are normal, hernial orifices are free. Now, we do investigation for pre-anesthetic checkup. All routine investigations are within normal limit, like complete blood count, fasting blood sugars, urea catins are within normal limit, blooding time, clotting time. Routine and microscopic urine shows past cell 1 to 2 by hyper field, rest are within normal limit, culture sensitivity shows no growth. Now, hyperspedia, what is hyperspedia? Definitions. Hyperspedia uh, is a condition in which the external urethral meatus is abnormally or ectopically situated in the ventral surface of the penis due to arrest in the normal development of urethra, pupus, and spongiosums. The incidence of hyperspedia is 1 in 250 to 300. Development of urethra, bladder and Upper part of posterior urethra develops from cranial part, part of urogenital sinus. Lower part of posterior urethra and membranous part of urethra develops from caudal part of urogenital sinus. At the six week gestations, penile urethra is formed by fusion of urethral fold. At 12 week gestations, glandular urethra is formed by endodermal differentiations. Previously, it was thought that ectodermal intuition from glands causes glandular lithra formations. But recent theory is endodermal differentiation in leads to glandular urethra formation. Classifications of hyperspedias depend on the location of the external urethral meatus. Uh, there is ducket classifications that is anterior, middle and posterior. Anterior is commonest that is 50%, middle is 30% and posterior is 20%. Now, and this is the schematic diagram. Now, this is the glandular hyperspedius, coronal, this is subcoronal. Now, this is distal penile hyperspedius, this is mid sept, this is proximal. Now, this is a penoscotal. Scotal and pineal. So this is glandular hyperspedias, this is subcornal hyperspedias, this is distal hyperspedias, this is mid sept, this is proximal penile, this is uh, pinoscotal, this is scotal, and this is pineal. So classifications are uh, Simple form classification. Now, recently, simpler classification is glandular, distal, proximal. By uh, inspecting local site, we can say this is hyperspedias. Why? Why this is hyperspedias? Hyperspedias has several component like abnormal location of external urethral meatus on the ventral surface of penis. When there is abnormal position of the external urethral meatus at the ventral surface, that is known as hyperspedias. Actually, hyperspedias came from a Greek word that is hypo means below and spadon means orifice. So actually the normal urethral orifice present at the tip of the gland penis, but here the external urethral meters present proximal to it. Uh, so abnormal presence of external urethral meters one, two, there is deficient pipus, spongiosum or urethral pain on the ventral surface of the penis. There is dorsally hooded pipus. There may be associated cordy, ventral curvature in proximal hyperspedias. The examination point for description of hyperspedias. First, external urethral meters. 
according to position, we know the whether is glandular, distal, or proximal. Then shape of the external urethanimators that may be seed-like or stenotic. Urethral plate may be white, narrow, supple, scarred. Distal pupusal hood with ventrally deficient pupils. Glands may be chronical or flat. Cordy, there may be there is ventral cordy. Okay, that is ventral curvature. Cobby may be absent or mild. When there, the curvature is less than 30 degrees, that is mild. When more than 30 degrees, that is severe. There may be torsion, that means any deviation from the midline. Testis descended or not, that should be looked for. Phallus, uh, stage penile length should be measured. Whether any penoscotal transfusion page weaving or weaving page or not, that should be looked for. Investigations, baseline investigation for anesthetic fitness only. No other special investigation requires. Uh, routine abnormal ultrasonogram is not necessary as association with upper urinary tract anomaly is present only in 3% cases. Hair timing may be necessary in proximal hyperspedias with bilateral undescended testes to rule out disorder of sexual differentiation. Timing of surgery commonly performed between 6 to 8 months of age as below 6 months the phallus length is inadequate. All the stages should be performed before the school going age to minimize psychological trauma inflicted on the patient and parents. Surgical management goal of repair are passing urine from the tip of the penis, single projectile stem of urine, cosmetics look of a circumcised penis, no residual cordy or torsion, piece of sexual functions that to be assessed on long term follow up. Components of repair, there are several components. First component, orthoplasty, that is cordy corrections. Second is urethroplasty, that is new formations. Third is glansplasty, shape of the glands to be preserved. Then dermoplasty, the cosmetic skin coverage should be satisfactory. Then management of cordy. What is cordy? Cordy is abnormal fibrous tissue causing ventral curvature. So cordy correction steps first, first degloving the penis, first there is subcornal incision around the penis, then we deglobe the penis till the root of the penis. Okay. After degloving, we uh, measure the cordy degree, that is it is test or artificial reaction test. To, in this test, 2 ml normal serum injected into the corpora cavernosa after degloving the penis and placing a tourniquet at the base of the penis. If ventral curvature is less than 30 degree, that is acceptable. If more than 30 degree, that should be corrected. Then, what are the options for correction of cordy? First, dorsal plications. Another is dermal graft or corpotomy for corporal disproportions. Fourth, division of the urethral plate. These are the options for correction of cordy. Operations for hyperspedias. For distal hyperspedias, operations are TIP, turns urethral incision of plate, urethroplasty, that is done, first that is done by short gas. Another are Matthew flip flop, uh, flip flap procedure, and another is magpie procedure. These for distal hyperspedias. Uh, for uh, proximal hyperspedias, there are there may be single stage or staged procedure. In single stage procedure, there are inlay pupusal flap or second transverse inner pupusal flap tubulized erythroplasty. In stage procedure, there are Backer's procedure and Bayer's procedure. For distal hyperspedias, we most commonly performed sonar gas procedure, that is a TIP procedure. Principle of steps, after catheterizations, uh, we make a U-shaped incision. U-shaped incision and we do globe the penis after giving a circumcornal incision. Then we create our glands wings. After creating gland wings, we make 
और मिडलाइन इंसिशन ओवर द यूरिथल प्लेट अप टू द कॉर्पोरा आफ्टर दैट वी गिव सब वी मेक न्यू यूरिथ्रा बाय गिविंग सब एपिथेलियल स्विचेस